Now, high cholesterol is a very important issue when it comes to your health. And most of you already know about statin medications like atovastatin, rosuvastatin, and simvastatin. The thing is, whether you like them or not, the fact is that statins have been used as the first treatment option for high cholesterol for quite some time. However, we can all agree that life is not a one-size-fits-all situation. So here is the big question. What if I cannot take statins? Well, I am glad you asked. Because statins may not always be the best option for everyone. Maybe you are dealing with certain health conditions that make it challenging to take statins or have had side effects such as muscle pain, muscle weakness, or digestive issues, just to name a few. So in this video, I'm happy to share with you some alternative to statins that can help you take control of your cholesterol levels and improve your heart health without just taking statins. Jedosa the FarmD here, welcome and please like and subscribe to the channel. First up, we have ezetimibe, which is also known under the brand name Zedia. Now, Zedia is a different kind of medication that can also help lower cholesterol. But instead of working where cholesterol is made in the liver, like statins, ezetimibe works in your small intestines. It helps block cholesterol from getting into your bloodstream. That means it helps keep your cholesterol levels down. So if you cannot take statins or need extra help lowering your cholesterol, Zedia can be a good alternative for you. And the best part is that it is known to have a low risk of causing side effects. But here is something interesting. Sometimes your doctor may tell you to take Zedia along with a statin to get even better results. And check this out. There is even a combined medication called Vitorin, which includes both ezetimibe and simvastatin. Number 2. PCSK9 Inhibitors These are new cholesterol medications like Praluent and Repatha. These are not your typical swallow with water pills. They are injected under your skin, usually every two weeks or once a month. So how do they work their magic? Well, inside your liver, there is an enzyme called PCSK9. Now, PCSK9 does something interesting. It stops your body from breaking down LDL or bad cholesterol and it regulates how much cholesterol your cells can take in. And here is where SPK9 inhibitors come in. These medications act like gatekeepers and stop the SPK9 enzyme from doing its job. By doing this, they help your body break down more LDL cholesterol and allow just the right amount of cholesterol to enter your bloodstream. Now, keep this in mind. These medications are expensive and your doctor may not choose them as the first line of treatment. Usually, they come into the picture after you have tried and failed with the classic statins and ezetimibe. So, if you are looking for new ways to lower your cholesterol, PCSK9 inhibitors could be the game changer you need. Number 3. Omega-3 fatty acid For instance, Lovasa and Vasipur are medications that contain a concentrated form of these omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 can be considered a starting alternative for people who may not tolerate or prefer not to take starting medications. Now, omega-3 fatty acids are essential health fats for our bodies. But here's a catch. Our bodies cannot make them on their own. However, the good news is that we can obtain them from medications like Lovasa and Vasper, or by eating certain foods like fish, avocados, flax seeds, and walnuts. You see, 
This approach provides a natural means to help lower triglyceride levels in your blood, especially when combined with a heart health diet and regular exercise. Number four, phenofibrate and gelfibrozil. Now, these medications are also known as fibrate medications. They work by telling your body to use the good cholesterol more effectively and get rid of extra not-so-good LDL cholesterol. And guess what? They also have another important job, lowering triglycerides, which are a different type of fat in our blood. And having too much of them can also cause problems. So what does this mean to you? Well, if you are dealing with both high cholesterol and high triglycerides, phenofibrate or gelfibrozil can be a good treatment option for you, as they can help bring both cholesterol and triglycerides to healthier levels. And here's a bonus point. When you are taking fibrates, it's better to avoid taking them together with statins. You see, combining fibrates, especially gelfibrozil, with statins can cause unwanted side effects like muscle pain. Number five, Nexceltol. This is a newer medication that belongs to a drug class called ACL inhibitors, which stands for ATP citrate lysis inhibitors. In addition, there is a combined pill of Nexceltol and Ezetimab called Nexlizet. Now, Nexceltol is a powerful option for managing cholesterol levels. And what makes Nexceltol interesting is how it works differently from statins. It works by blocking an enzyme in the liver known as ATP citrate lysis. This enzyme is involved in the production of both cholesterol and fatty acids in the liver. So what does that mean? Well, by blocking this enzyme, Nexceltol reduces the liver's ability to make cholesterol and as a result lowers cholesterol levels in the bloodstream. But here's the thing, Nexceltol is often prescribed in combination with statin medications for individuals who require additional cholesterol reduction or cannot take higher doses of statins. It was approved in 2020 specifically for people with heterozygous familial hypercholesterolemia, which is a genetic condition that causes high levels of LDL cholesterol. So here's the bottom line. The idea of managing cholesterol may sound a bit complex, but living with high cholesterol is not the end of the world. You have got options. Alongside a good diet and exercise, there are different treatment options to help control your cholesterol. And guess what? Nature also has your back. Things like niacin or vitamin B3, flax seeds, and barberine can also help lower your cholesterol. And there you have it. Remember, your body deserves the best, so make a smart choice for your health. Thanks for watching.